What I'm about to give you is a little bold, but if you can do it, can literally be the best way to reach out to your ex again, no matter how long it's been since the two of you spoke. Before I even give you this technique, if you are someone who is just lonely and you want your ex back for the wrong reasons, not because he's right for you, but just because you want connection from somewhere, turn this video off right now. This is not for you. If your ex didn't treat you right, if they didn't give you what you want, if they didn't invest in you in the right ways, and you're just hoping they'll change or that you'll accept a lower standard just to be with them again, turn this video off and go find my other videos about meeting other men, of which there are plenty. If you continue watching, I'm gonna assume that you are adult enough to decide for yourself whether this is the right person for you and you wanna give it another shot. So, you're still here, let's talk about this technique. You pick up the phone and call him when you are somewhere that reminds you of a really good time of the two of you together. So here's how the phone call goes. You start with a time constraint. Hey, I'm so glad you picked up. Um, I have to go in just a minute but I'm with my friends and I'm in, let's say for example, I'm in that park that we always used to go to. It just completely reminded of me of you and brought a smile to my face uh, thinking of that day that we spent here. The beautiful thing about this moment is that I'm not gonna lie to you, when a guy sees his ex calling on his phone, the first thing that runs through his head is fear. Fear of drama, of more potential hurt. You didn't do that. You called him with nothing but a positive message that somewhere you are with your friends reminded you of a wonderful time you had with him and that put a smile on your face. The immediate association he has with you calling that's pain is lost and a new association is created that you can call with something that is nothing but pleasure. You then say the obvious, which is, how have you been? How are you getting on? He says, I'm great, and this and that, and whatever he says. You say, that's so cool. I'm sure there are so many amazing things happening in your life right now. I hope I get to hear about them soon. So rather than asking him more questions in that moment, you're just assuming in a very positive way that there must be great things going on for him. In other words, you're sort of wishing him the best in a way, uh, and assuming the best because you think so highly of him. Then you transition to the close. Anyway, I have to go, I really should go. I just wanted to share that with you uh, and I hope you're great and have an amazing day. There's something clever that happens when you say have a great day or have an amazing day. It tends to be more something we say to someone that we're more likely to see again tomorrow because we're not saying have a great week or a great month or have a nice life. We're saying have a great day, as in we'll probably speak again tomorrow. This is a chance for you to engage in a really positive moment with him and just have a nice experience. If he never calls you back, the worst you've done is rem remind him of a positive moment between the two of you. Now I know for some of you this technique might seem a little bold and you want something easier to start with. Others among you may have already done this or are ready to do this, but you want the next steps. What do I do after I've done this? Either way, I have a free guide for you that gives you four more quick tips for getting your ex back. All you need to do is go to makehimyoursagain.com. The guide is there waiting for you, and these are four really simple tips that you can apply today. I only want you to download this guide if you're the person who is really gonna benefit from this, and this is gonna improve your life. If you're one of those people, Go to makehimyoursagain.com and I will see you there in a few seconds.